All right, we're back. We have two decks left in this display box. I guess we may have to find another one here pretty soon. And today's deck is The Baron That Refuses Creativity. We got Shadows, Dis, and Sanctum. The struggle is real. Here comes these. Oh, oh, right at the top. All right. Not too bad. Let's see. That's the. Okay. All right. And it looks like we're starting with Shadows. I'm not. Have I seen this? Silent Dagger. Get amber whenever you play it. It's an upgrade. This creature gains reap. Deal four damage to a flank creature. Wow, that's really good. No, I have not seen that. Silvertooth. I actually really like this. Uh, two power creature, but he enters play ready, so it's an immediate reap or an immediate fight. Yeah, I, I do like this card a lot, actually. Hey, our first rare. Let's see. Selwyn, the fence. Three power. Fight reap. Move one amber from one of your cards to your pool. Okay, that's pretty good. It's cool, so if we have some more capture cards in here, we're allowed to just, uh, oh, wait, 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 on our cards. Okay, okay, so yeah, we capture our opponent's amber, yeah, put it back to us, so that's pretty cool. Dodger, five amber, whenever he fights, you get to steal an amber. Ooh, bad penny. Uh, this is actually really good if you get that artifact seeker where you can do one damage to a creature and get an amber, because you can play it, do the damage, then replay it, so awesome card. Uh, combo if we get that. So one power, whenever it's destroyed, you return it to your hand. And what do you know? Secret Needle. Perfect. Just what I was talking about. An artifact deals one damage, but it destroys it, you gain one. So play it, kill it, return it to your hand, replay it next turn, reap with it, kill it, return it to your hand, replay it. It's a nice little amber generation there. Pawn Sacrifice. Oh, well, hell, that's another good card to have with Bad Penny. One Amber, Sacrifice Friendly Creature. If you do, you deal three damage each to two creatures. Hey, we got two of those. Ghostly Hand. Oh, I actually really like this card. Because usually, like, in Shadows, you do have a good amount of uh, being able to mess with their Amber. Haven't quite seen it here. But two Amber whenever you play it. And if your opponent has exactly one Amber, you get to steal it. So it's always two Amber with a chance of three. Booby Trap. Amber, whenever you play it, deal four damage to a creature that is not on flank with a two damage splash. Wow, there's, that's a lot of amber, it feels like. Very nice. Two booby traps. Cool. Oh, and we got the bait and switch. All right. Uh, everyone should know what that is if you uh, should know what it is if you watch a lot of Keyforge videos. If not, uh, we'll read it anyway. If your opponent has more amber than you get to steal one, you keep repeating that effect until eventually you have more than your opponent. So that's awesome. Oh, let's see here. Should we just... You know what? We've been normally throwing Sanctum to the back and then making the big surprise if we ever get Horseman. Never got the Horseman. Let's just go straight to Sanctum. Mantle of the Zealot. This is a rare. Upgrade. This creature gains. You may use this creature as if it belonged to the active house. Oh, man. That's really good. Oh, there's the one in Logos where it makes the creature uh, where it's you know part of any house, but you have to stun it first. This, no downside. This is awesome. Staunch Knight, four power, two armor. He gets plus two power while he's on the flank. Sergeant Zachiel. Whenever you play him, you get to ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Awesome card. I'd like to get maybe two. Oh, okay. Three. Ah, still awesome. Champion Anaphil. This is the six power, one armor taunt. Whoa, what is it? Potion of Invulnerability. It's an amber whenever you play it. It's an artifact. It has Omni, so you can use it no matter what the house you called is and uh, you sacrifice it for the remainder of the turn each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage oh that's awesome there's a spell that's like that i'm not sure if the spell gives you amber but this one does that's really good and the fact that you don't have to be on this house makes it a little bit better in my opinion take hostages amber whenever you play it there's a lot of amber in this deck uh for the remainder of the turn each time a friendly creature fights it captures one amber that's awesome with how many sanctum creatures we have Shield of Justice. For the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. Again, Amber. Okay, so we have both that and the artifact in here. I said I like the artifact a little bit more since it's giving us the Amber anyway. Uh, but it's cool to have that second effect in here. Radiant Truth. You get Amber whenever you play it. Stun each enemy creature not on a flank. Very good. Two of those. And the Glorious Few, I'm going to guess is our last one. I feel like we did a lot. Oh, there's some more Sanctum. Glorious Few. Play. For each creature your opponent controls an in excess of you, 
you gain one amber. That is really good. Because Sanctum is ha usually has a lot of creatures. This deck has a decent amount. It's a great card. You play it first, then you get to drop down all your creatures. Cleansing Wave. You play it, you heal one damage from each creature. Gain one amber for each creature healed this way. Whoa, okay. I don't know how I've not seen this yet because it's a common, but that is really good because it does it to every creature. It's not just yours, so that's a lot of amber you can generate. Now we're to our disc. We have the Terror, one of my favorite cards in disc. Five power, whenever you play it, if your opponent has no amber, you gain two. Tentacus, your opponent must pay one amber in order to use any artifact. Shuler, if your opponent has four or more amber, you get to steal one. Hey, we got two Shulers. Pit Demon, action, he gets to steal an amber. He's a good card. Oh, we got two of him. Dust Imp, oh, it's a lot of disc creatures, actually. Whenever he's destroyed, you gain two amber. And now we have a rare artifact here, Soul Snatcher. Each time a creature is destroyed, its owner gains one amber. I've had someone play that against me. I've, I've been able to uh, turn it around to my side, so we'll have to see how it works in this deck, but that's pretty good. Can be good. Mind Bard, one amber, and your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Hand of Dis. Whenever you play it, you destroy a creature that is not on the flank. Let's see. Gongoozle. Gongoozle. One amber whenever you play it. Three damage to a creature. If it's not destroyed, its owner discards a random card from their hand. Ah, and then Gateway to Dis. Always a solid card to have. This is a pretty solid deck. A little bit of control, the, the right sort of control, really. Got some pretty interesting artifacts in here. We got, got quite a bit of creatures, it feels like. That's already five, six, man, we had seven creatures in this? That's really good. How many, uh, let's see, a little bit light and sanctum compared to usual. Oh, it was only four, it felt like more. I don't know why it felt like more, but we got some good upgrades and some good uh, ways to prevent damage to our friendly creatures in there. The bait and switch, always good. So many creatures we had here in, we only had four in shadows. I can't remember how many we had here, what, seven? So 15, 15 creatures and a lot of solid support. Decent amber generation for sure. Yeah, this is a, this is gonna be a fun deck to play with for sure. Especially cause you got the seeker needle plus the bad penny. Really, like out of all the combos there is, and it's such a real simple small one, it's one of my favorites. I really like that. And hell, being able to use two pawn sacrifices also with the bad penny. That's solid. Yeah, this is this is a nice deck. And this silent dagger, wow, I can't believe I haven't seen this before. That's really good. Alright, well, thank you for watching the video, guys. If you like Keyforge content, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.